Okay, great. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> Good that I just talked for five minutes. <laughs> um, all right. Um, so, welcome again, everyone. Um, welcome to another stream. Uh, fingers crossed that we're not gonna have any technical issues tonight. Um, we will continue with the painting. I really want to finish the painting, but there's still a lot of things I want to do. And um, yeah, it's basically still adding more characters, um, doing more stuff, um, paint over certain textures. It's very noisy in some areas. Um, yeah, so we have to make to unify the whole image. Um, that's the plan for tonight. Um, feel free to study along, paint along, um, or just watch me painting. Um, it's gonna be a pretty chill stream and um, probably maybe also a little bit of longer stream because tomorrow is bank holiday here in Berlin. So um, yeah, I don't have any urgent and there's no work tomorrow for me, uh, which means we can maybe go a little bit over time. Hey Genosaurus, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the Twitch follow. Um, yeah, so we basically gonna paint on that and um, as, as usual, feel free to join um, painting or just relax, chill, draw, whatever you want. Um, yeah, and if, uh, if the music is too loud, just let me know. <coughs> and if you have any questions, as always, um, just feel free to ask and uh, yeah. Anna, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? How was your day? suffering <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that <laughs> that's why you went for a morning run right I also shrinkened the file a little bit um, so the last file became very big um, I shrinked it twice already so we had it on one gigabyte, and then I merged everything. And uh, last time I hit it, I had it on 600 MB, and I now shrinked it again. So I basically just merged a lot of stuff and um, deleted a um, couple uh, folders we had. And those here are some particle effects I want to add later on, so we still keep that close for now. Um, but that's something I like to do. It's just like adding small light particles um, this can be very handy if you have light situations like that um, yeah but for now on the plan is just adding refining and adding and working on the edge control we have so we still have a lot of hard edges and a lot of, a lot of like noise also on the foliage and we need to um, reduce that down so the eye is really going from setting point to setting point <clears throat> And uh, yeah, and I want to have a very clear read here on that image. That's very important. Um, I mean, you al always want to have a clear read, but um, I don't. I don't feel like we have a, a read which is clear enough yet. Mm -hmm. 
Mila, did you have a good week? How's the drawing going? It's also a nice trick to sell scale is we can add, take the pigeon here in the back. It's also what I like to do at work and then just put one in the foreground. So like the dog is hunting the pigeon or the pigeon is flying away. Um, it's a very simple trick of just not only a telling story but also giving the image a little bit more of um, just a realistic sense, like a scene which would happen. Um, and also you have um, the ability to sell certain scales. So if the eye sees, okay, the pigeon here is a certain size, then, um, and we see the same kind of silhouette, the same kind of shape in the back, it gives the impression of, okay, there's certain, um, Depth of, depth of field going. Oh, you get your vaccine tonight. Good luck. I hope you're gonna take it well. Probably we need to darken the pigeon a bit. Hey Burrito, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Yes, long time no see. I'm doing good, just uh, a lot of work and um, happy to have some have some small vacation with the bank holiday. So um, I'm pretty sure I will enjoy that. So we need to turn down the brightness a little bit on the pigeon. It's a little bit too bright in terms of values. Work. 
So let me check. Are you um, on your bachelor thesis? Nice. How's it going then? Hey Naveen, welcome to the stream. Also a long time no see. <laughs> Life is going good. How's going? How's it going for you? I'm enjoying my life. Can say that painting all day I'm always in a good mood so not much to worry about Just look for some reference here, which we can maybe add on top of that. COVID is not finished here, um, we still have a very high amount of people, but uh, yeah, I think that like vaccination is going better in Berlin now, like they started to uh, um, vaccinate more people, so um, I think it slowly gets a little bit better here, um, but like for me, as I mentioned, I'm staying inside all day, technically, just going out for a morning run and just going out for buying groceries. But um, yeah, there's not much you can do basically. So yeah, uh, where is it for? You? How is it for you, Naveen? Hey, Jala, welcome to the stream. How are you doing?
can also add is just um, dirt particles from the dog who just jumped or running to, to get the pigeon. This can be just be dark little dots flying away from the point of impact. Also, we need to soften the edge from him a little bit, like we can have um, hard edges everywhere. Because everywhere when we have hard edges, the eye is like going right towards. definitely adding um, another figure I'm thinking maybe of having a figure let me make that darker maybe having a figure right here in front so even before this guy here this could be nice this must be even darker even bigger so it's maybe someone who's walking towards the camera, just passing by the guy. Or s maybe putting more people into the back. Um, I thought also maybe adding someone um, next to the house, maybe hammering or something could be cool. Um, otherwise, so how I thought about the composition right now is basically we have him going into so it's basically right about they attack this guy here which is going to be the, the main focal point um, also if you look in terms of like contrast um, I think we also need to make him a little bit darker just slightly so we have the darkest um, dark to light contrast so the second read going to be him and then either where the the viewer is looking at um, if the the viewer enters the image here it goes automatically to him and the arm also from him like everything here should be somehow leading also to this where we have the other action point so we have this circulation also if for example the viewer looks first here we have like the dog hunting the pigeon which is kind of entering the image um, is very helpful also just to pull the viewer in um, yeah oh, damn it Naveen I'm sorry to hear that I hope your family is doing st still good yeah I heard uh, I, I read the reports about that some of the reports hey Okami welcome to the stream I'm doing good thank you how are you doing how was the day Matsuik, thanks for the like. Welcome to stream. Oh, 
Oh, congrats, Okami, for the acceptance on the art test. That's awesome. Congratulations. So if you if you got that, you will nail the interview. Pretty sure about that. So what I add a little bit more to the ground, it's also a little bit more brush work, a little bit brush fidelity. Um, it's just about, um, because we, we, we had the process of doing a sketch, blocking stuff in, render certain areas, and then at some point we added textures, photo textures. And the problem is if you don't control it too much, you not only lose a little bit of your um, brush strokes, but you also want to make sure that I mean, it depends on what you want to achieve in certain type, in in the in a certain look you want to have. But um, overall, I like to have a little bit more of a yeah painterly. I don't want to say painterly because I'm still using a lot of photos for all the textures and stuff. So what we basically do, we over paint over all that and just to harmonize it. So we only have really the high density of noise and texture at the most important areas of the image. that makes sense my favorite writing system could you be a bit more specific about your question um, what do you mean with a uh, writing system for my own stories ideas or because I don't have any system when it comes to that um, or do you mean program or maybe I completely un misunderstand the question So when it comes to the light spots on the ground, um, what is also a, a, a great thing is like not only adding the shapes, um, also thinking about what could make the shape even more interesting. And um, of course you could have an oval shape of a light spot on the ground, but what makes the shape eventually more interesting is when you have certain um, shapes maybe on one side which are created by a cast shadow from an object next to that. If I have any idea of what's going to be the next project, um, not sure to be honest, Okami. Um, the thing is like, right now I do a lot of figure drawings again, but mostly my sketchbook um, and I study a lot of old masters. I, I, have, um, I have a lot of books, I love books just with uh, old master drawings and paintings and stuff. And um, I'm sometimes I'm going through them and I just study them and I just really really love those old traditional ways they drew people and I, I just enjoy study that even more and I also bought a lot of books on costume design so maybe I don't know we do maybe a, a anatomy session or a character design session or something you know um, maybe something like that I don't know do you have any ideas Okami? Um, 
Ah, you you meant like Latin alphabet or Korean? Um, no, I have no favorite. What's your favorite, Warning? Thanks, burrito. It's the um, it's the what's it called? Um, stream beats on um, stream beats on Spotify by Harris Heller. Lo-fi music. on this guy a little bit because it, the, he draws a lot of attention just by his contrast so we need to make sure that it's not too strong Your favorite, um, your, f your favorite writing is Tibetan. Wow. Okay. Why is that? Yeah, and that's actually better. You now, like reducing. So basically, what I just do, I just put it on grayscale and just check how the contrast is. And you see, if I turn the shadow layer on. Um, we just reduce a little bit the reflectiveness on his chest, which automatically takes a little bit of the attention away, which is way more helpful. Because we, we don't want him to take all the attention. And he also got some like metallic helmet, which takes also automatically just a lot of light, and reflects a lot of light, so... Um, the guy looks like something of Lord of the Wings a uh, lot of rings okay it's actually a little bit more of a Assassin's Creed inspired thingy so like if you look at the guys attacking, they all have the the design shape of the Assassin's Creed characters. So I use a couple of photos just from screenshots just to add more information to the silhouette of the character just felt better to fit the sujet of the image Yeah, a form language is super interesting. I don't know if I'm if I'm ready for that, you know, um, because I still I don't know. I mean, f we, I could maybe make a demonstration based on everything I learned so far on form language. But um, yeah, you know, like if I want to talk about something, like also explain stuff to people, I I need to know everything before, and I don't feel like I know everything right now. 
um, yeah I just want to know my material you know um, even though form language I mean it's like if you look at it from an analytical standpoint it it's very you can break it down in certain steps but like to really get to a really nice form language at the end it's not that easy <laughs> but yeah I, I consider that So you can see like we painted that for I don't know how many sessions now and it's still you can it's still not not finished yet so um, you can imagine like this stuff just takes very long it's like the more you are gonna have happening in the scene the longer it's gonna take plus I really enjoy painting long on stuff which is funny because in the beginning I never could finish anything and I think that's also something you need to learn is like learning how to finish stuff and I was always starting a new painting every day but never really finish finished the painting but like the more I've learned also at my day job and everything I've touched um, the more I wanted to to see how far I can push it. And you never know what you're gonna learn. It's all mileage. It was that. Oh, okay. So yeah. Hey Murat, how's it going? How was your day, your week? Thanks, Hannah. Um, I, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure if, if I really do. I just, I don't know. I just wanna, I just want to know as much as I can before I, I don't know, tell people about stuff, you know. I just wanna, it's, it's the German, it's the German out of me playing the safe game. <laughs> You're way too sweet, bro. <laughs> studying going for you besides the noise adding more um, gradations to the to the roofs because like light is traveling so the shadows are as well also they t the, the it's the backside um, against the light so it's gonna be a little bit darker in terms of values but also we make this very delicate because we don't want to make it too dark 
just gently. So either using soft brush or gradient tool. So like we need to make sure like this part is darker than the stuff behind so it makes sense in terms of values also I think we can give him a little bit more darkness just to give him a stronger dark to light contrast Yeah, I mean, um, Murat, so far the stream is stable, um, but you never know. My laptop is like, it's like a wonder box, you never know what's in. One day it, it crashes and the other day it's working. How's the job going, Murat? Yeah, I totally believe that. Also, the thing is like if, if, if the simpler the style appears, the harder it can be to, to hit it. less photo bashing
Um, what do you mean, like, final episode of this painting? I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> like, um, I don't, I don't feel it. You know, still not feeling it. I, I think I want to add more stuff, but I don't know. I also don't want to do the same painting all over, like boring people with that. Um, so maybe I, is this maybe the last episode on this painting, and then I just gonna quickly add all the other stuff I want to add, and I don't know, maybe I make a wrap, wrap up episode about that, so we can do something else in the next live stream. Um, maybe the things like I really, I just said it before, I'm really doing a lot of uh, figurative drawings recently, so maybe we can do something like that. Um, I don't know. Do you have any suggestions? Figure drawing is cool, yeah. Hi Rice, welcome to the stream. Um, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you. How are you doing? Um, no, I haven't done a video about um, how I was end up getting a job as a concept artist. To be honest, um, because I always think it's not so interesting for people. Um, also, I, I feel like it's maybe not so interesting me sitting there just talking, you know? Um, but I don't know, maybe I can make a video about that. But I can tell you also right now what I did to, to get a job or like how was it for me after school. So very simple, I, or not sim, I don't know if it's simple, I, so I had an, I had a job um, and I had an internship. So we had to take an inter internship while studying, um, which I had in a studio which made um, advertising, animations for advertising. So I was, I think, one of like a couple concept people in there. And um, my plan was actually staying there. But um, when I finished college, they didn't need me because they didn't have enough jobs. And it didn't make any sense for them to keep me so i was basically uh doing a, a very simple let me uh, i have to I have to rethink how i say that so i was selling sport articles for two months basically i was selling stuff i was going to decathlon i don't know if you know decathlon i was going there um doing 20 hours per week and i was sending out emails like crazy and then i did a lot of art test um, sometimes I haven't even heard back again from the companies, even after the art test, um, was applying and just pumping out emails over, I think two months. And then I had an art test for an, um, movie production for, uh, for an animation movie. And the job was basically doing mood paintings every day, it's like one mood painting for one scene every day so i also had to make an art test there to see okay was i'm able to um to stay up to the level of producing the quality they want and i was just pumping out um, the art test again and they accepted me which was really nice and i moved to uh, stuttgart in the south of germany for six weeks it was a six week project so i was hired as a freelancer the, this was i would say officially my my first freelance gig my first first freelance job um, or like job after school 
which was also very daunting in a way like you don't know what to expect and if you live up to the expectations and stuff but this also has to do with managing expectations um yeah so i went to to stuttgart for six weeks um i was lucky that i could stay at my brother's house um and sleeping on his couch so i could save a lot of money for for staying there and uh, then i worked on the movie production for six weeks it was very successful i was also um like networking a lot they had a couple studios in the same area where the studio was i was working at so i was going to every studio talking to the producers there showing my portfolio saying like hi i'm janos i'm working here for the studio um uh the the job i'm at is gonna be done in four to five weeks um maybe if you need someone um so i was constantly networking and um when i finished the project i was back um and i was on the way back to berlin i already had almost a gig done a next freelance gig done and a friend of mine and also a friend of murat was um texting me and uh, his name is timo shout out to timo here and uh, he was texting me and telling me that um, they are hiring at vuga the company i'm at right now and uh, he asked if i if i want to apply and i was applying and i also had to make an art test and i was applying for a character concept um, for a character concept role and the thing is i was doing an art test they accepted the art test i went to the interview and I also had an environment portfolio. So I had technically two portfolios. And I think what made them hiring, hiring me was actually not my character stuff. It was my environment stuff because they actually needed someone for, um, for environments. Yeah, and then I um, got in there. And since then I'm at VUGA. And VUGA is a mobile game company, so it's um, for mobile games. But so far, VUGA is a really, really, really nice company. Um, I'm so happy that I joined VUGA because I learned really a lot, not only there, but I also learned I had, like VUGA is providing us with materials, educational budget for learning. Um, so I could take, take for example, the bra brainstorm classes, like VUGA paid for that. So um, all that stuff is like, just VUGA is a very nice place to learn. Also, we have a lot of artists there who are just very, very nice and awesome piece, uh, people. Um, yeah. And that's technically how I got in. But like the, the, the hard part, like, you know, I always wanted to have, I, my plan was actually having a job before I finished college. And technically I had a job while I was at college. Um, but when it was about getting hot, um, so to speak, I didn't have any job and it was also very daunting. I wouldn't say I was afraid, but you know, like you're immediately thrown into cold water and you have, you you know, like all you want to do is concept art and there's not so many concept art jobs and like working as a freelancer in the beginning also, if you're a junior, it's really freaking hard because you have no contacts, you maybe not know so many people, you maybe have no real clue of a pipeline. So I would rather than going somewhere and learning, you know, and like learning in a pipeline, learning from people, rather than learning on the freelance base, because I also had a lot of hassle with clients who wanted to pay me, pay me like really little money, like really little money. For backgrounds for TV series where they where they wanted basically a, a stylized final painting, but with a line art below. So like a, like a very flat shading. And um, they wanted to, to pay me like by the drawing, by the values and by the, by the colors. And I was usually um, working, I'm, I'm always working on a day rate and they wanted to pay me by piece, which, um, which resembles um, a payment of, I did the calculation, a payment of five euros per hour. <laughs> and I thought like, well, that's not gonna, that's not gonna happen. Um, but yeah, so there are a lot of things you can run into when you do, like when you have your first job as, and you're a freelancer and you, you're basically a junior. Um, yeah. That's, that's how it was for me. Was this somehow um, informative for you, Rice? Um, do you have any more questions? Just let me know.
Yeah, it's. I think it's also really different from people like person to person, of course, but also. I think which is um, which get like which get a little bit more difficult is that we get more and more artists joining the path of wanting to work in this industry and also we have to switch off having more and more mobile co mobile companies um, rather than AAA studios just because of the amount of money they can make like mobile studios and I don't know how the general mood is under like all the fresh 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 links fresh people fresh artists um, if they all want to do go to AAA and work in AAA or if they want to if they want to go on mobile but it seems like that we just have way more jobs into mobile and still it's um, if you want to if you want to go into a, a company they require experience and if you yeah if you maybe if you have no experience it's it's yeah it it if your work speaks for itself it can be possible to get in, but it's still hard to do. Um, what is required for an internship? Um, so, like, that's. I mean, first of all, like, if you want to, if you want to get an internship, you have to show that you are able to do all the fundamentals correct so you have to be you have to show that you have a, like your perspective is working um, your anatomy is working uh, your your design set your sense of design is there or you have some sort of like sense of design um, so you can basically you need to show that you are able to come up with an idea and also bring that idea to life because that's what you want to do that's what you're going to do um, it's going to be really hard for um, like you know, you have also to see the other side. If you go to a company which you which should pay you money for what you're doing, they have also certain trust they give you. You know, when they pay you, they trust you that you're able to do the work. Um, which doesn't mean like you have to know everything when you come as an intern, but you need to show there's certain there's there's a certain level of what you can do, and. Um, I don't know my my like also my intern portfolio was a mix of a lot of stuff um i don't know it wasn't also very good um but yeah i also didn't made my internship in a in a game studio or something i did it in commercials so maybe it was a little bit easier also to get in i don't know i can i can cannot judge that it's also a little bit subjective at the end but at the end i think it's important that you can showcase that you can draw well, paint well, you can generate an idea, come up with interesting designs and you not just have a portfolio which is full with random images which are just like looking more like, it, for example, if you want to go for an internship as a concept artist, concept designer, you have to showcase designs. And if you have a portfolio which is full with portraits, it's not very helpful to say it like that. Um, I studied industrial design. Um, it's funny that you asked that, Rice, because uh, someone was also asking me that today on Discord. So um, I, when I w decided that I want to become a concept artist, I realized very fast that I'm very bad. I couldn't draw, I couldn't paint, I knew nothing about design, I knew nothing about production work, and I was basically an empty empty glass. And I knew I needed time to grow. So I not only decided to study industrial design because Sid Mead and every, everybody else was doing it, but I also decided that to give myself time to grow. And um, yeah, we did a lot of, a lot of products, a lot of projects which were like building stuff in a workshop um, and that wasn't really cool because it was taking all my time away and some of the projects were pretty cool and some of projects were really shitty <laughs> and I didn't want to go to the workshop because I don't want to build stuff I want to draw and paint all day 
and um, that was just something I had. That was the, the price I had to pay for that, you know. Because at the end, I like in Ger in Germany in Berlin, um, you you get some sort of like governmental support if your parents not earn like a certain amount of money. So it basically um, de-stresses you a little bit because I was also living on my own and I also had to work bes besides that. So I was getting a little bit of, of like um, uh, money from the government um, while I was studying. So it helped me to really take time really on focusing on studying, which was really good. And it was necessary. My, my college took like three and a half years. I needed all the three and a half years to be ready. And even though I wasn't, I wasn't ready, you know, because I didn't have a job after college. And I was always afraid that I'm not gonna have a job after college. And I did everything I could, but I still wasn't good enough. And that's just how it is. And it like, it, it, like, it, it can make you sad and, and it, like you can take your head down, but it doesn't make sense to stop there, obviously, because you put in all the time, all the effort, why stopping there? If you like, there's a, there's like this image of two people mining and one is finding the, the gold thing and the other is like stopping when he sees the other one is finding it. And, but you see that like, if you just go a little bit further, you're gonna find also some gold. So I think that's really how it is. Like, even if you feel like you're not, or you, you, you get rejected, you don't get in, um, don't stop there. Trust me, I send it like so many emails. I don't know, I applied, I applied everywhere. I applied in Berlin, I applied in, in London, in Amsterdam, uh, like internationally. And some studios directly said like, oh, then I'm not the case. Thank you for your interest, but you're not the right fit. Some let, made me an art test, then I sent out the art test, took me a couple of days to make, and then they didn't reply. And that's like, okay, thank you. So yeah, but also like if, if it's a company like that, maybe you also don't want to go there because that also speaks a little bit for this company. I mean, on the other side also, they, they get a lot of emails probably every day, every single day, but yeah. CV is never bad, I would say. If you have a CV with a photo of yourself, that like they like it, it, it helps to relate to you, I would say. So if you have a friendly photo, maybe not like you sitting in a pool and drinking beer or something, but just a normal photo with you and then um, on your CV, it, it, it's never wrong, I would say. And yeah, it's like in terms of benchmarking yourself, you also sometimes you never know like you you can have 10 pieces which are okay but maybe you have one piece which is like like imagine the the the, the person who's looking or deciding like if they're gonna go further with you in the process they he sees like he or she sees 10 images and one of the image sparks something you know gives the, the person some sort of emotion feeling um or like reminds him of his childhood whatever it is and you you really don't know you know like if that could happen so um i would like in my opinion just give like your best give every give your best put 10 quality images in there make it strate strategically don't do it too random um maybe also before show it someone who has more experience um just to get a feedback on that it's always never wrong and then yeah and just like sometimes it, it takes a while and sometimes it's going like right away 
Like I also knew people who had just were just lucky and get in into interns, intern jobs. You know, so sometimes you like sometimes they they don't even look for people, and sometimes they look for people right away and they take the first person. So um, it's very hard to judge. But if you work really hard and you 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 have fun with the stuff people see that they see that in your work they see that in your portfolio and um, yeah if you spend a lot of time on a project on a piece on a design and they see the idea they they're gonna like it someone will like it the worst thing you can do is not believe in yourself and that's said from someone who couldn't draw a straight line seven years ago. Because technically it's a craft, everyone can learn it. Yeah, that's also a valid point by Murat. Um, you can also, when they when they reject you, to ask what you could improve on, um, and maybe they give you an, a, a proper answer. So um, that can be very helpful, just to ask. And sometimes you get a good answer. At least you can try it. Hey Burak. Yeah, I, I did. Oh, nice architecture. Uh, that's that's actually perfect for environment design. But funny that you want to go into character design. But I mean, it, it doesn't say that you can't do it. If you study ar architecture and you have like a certain sense for 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 a good structure, that can definitely help you for doing environment concepts. Absolutely. You're a bit tired of environment design? <laughs> okay, never mind. Yeah, that's that's what I meant, Okami. Like, you can try it and if you, for example, if you have a proper portfolio and you, maybe the art director or the 
the person or maybe you come in the second round you know and you have already the contact with the person and they don't take pr proceed further with you you have always the chance to ask to ask what you could bet do better i think what murat also meant is that you that you shouldn't forget to try at least you know but it's yeah you also right because sometimes they get like over thousands of applications um and sometimes they don't even answer on stuff i think what also can help us then is like also maybe finding a mentor or something just or someone who's experience can helping you with prepping your, your portfolio there's so many so many stuff so things like that online right now also the john park mentorship and everything can help you with that Yeah, don't worry, Rice. Um, it's just my just my honest po thoughts. Um, there's no reason for me to tell you anything else. Um, and also, yeah, just my just my honest beliefs and thoughts. And I think everyone can do it. Really, it's really if you're a hardworking person, you can achieve that. Also, like being bad at art is also very subjective. But of course, to have a certain level to get paid for that that's something else like there's a there's really a difference of that i think important for you and also when you say you're doing your rb2 right now um is that you have a proper plan of what to do you know if you do rb2 you can technically study whatever and then just also take bafög maybe stay at your parents house or wherever you stay and then just focus on like having a proper plan for your concept art development for me it for me it was just tough because i had like projects which was taking really a lot of a lot of time at school and like every time when i went to college like going to college physically in a train i was always sketching like figure drawing sketching people um, like thinking about designs, thinking about environments, just doing that. While I was sitting in class, I was doing drawings, uh, Copic marker renderings. They look super shitty, but it was also part of me growing and of the process and everything else. You know, so um, the thing is you have to breathe, breathe it really, like doing it and like every day is very important. And yeah, and have a proper plan of like how much time you give to grow and then really that not really saying like i just try it like really go for it like really try it think about it. what can you do uh, i remember when i tried to the thing is like i had to have a portfolio to get into industrial design and that was my first roadblock because i i, I really didn't know what they wanted to see and also didn't know how to draw properly and I remember before that I applied for game design and I completely failed, got rejected. And I also applied for product design at a different university. And I had only illustrations in the portfolio. And then I went also to a, like after that, after I got rejected twice, I went to a portfolio review session with a teacher mentor. And he told me like, I need to have product designs in there. So um, yeah just i think you just have to 
be very self-reflective with the stuff you do like not shoulder tap yourself like just like just see okay what can i like be subjective with the stuff you do if you finish an image it's okay you can be proud of yourself but don't stop there you have to be very like objective and uh, like not be too like too self self pity you know like okay what can i improve what can i do better just to constantly progress Yeah, that's also right. Was uh, what Mur uh, Mur was saying that um, portfolios always look for capable people. So if you have a solid portfolio, if you have um, a, a, a strong portfolio with speaks for you, um, you are definitely able to 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 get to get in there. Hey, Akim, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? And hey everyone who just joined on Twitch, welcome to the stream. We are a multi-stream, so we're streaming on YouTube and Twitch. But if you have questions, just type it in the chat, say hello. Also, if you're not in our Discord art community, feel free to join our art community. Just click the Discord button in the uh, Twitch banner or on the YouTube page and join our community. You can share your artwork, share your um, socials, whatever you want. Yeah, your socials, <laughs> your, your security card number, <laughs> your tax ID. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting stupid. Feel free to, to join our art community and share your tax ID. <laughs> sorry, it was, it was a too long day of work. I'm getting really stupid now. <laughs> oh man. I'm happy to have some free days. <laughs> um, how much time I spent drawing? So before college, right before college, I was, so I would say right, in, it was funny, right in the beginning, I was doing just like really from the start on, I was doing like 30, 30 minutes to one hour of drawing because in the beginning it was new for me. It was really freaking hard, like drawing, like focus on drawing. Um, and um, if I think about it, it was in 2013. So what is that? Eight years ago eight years ago um, and also like uh, for example I was doing a lot of sport I was playing American football so I was never sitting at the table with m and drawing and thinking about stuff I want to draw so it was like in terms of like for my brain it was really freaking hard um, and in the beginning I was like doing 30 minutes and then like I tried at least to do 30 minutes every day and then from 30 minutes it became an hour and then it became two hours and then I, I, it became more when I had to make the portfolios for the application for college. So it was about six to seven hours. And when I joined college for studying, I I was like accumulating a little bit because we I was like seeing um, how is the, 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 the like how much work do we get? What do we have to do? And the thing is, I was hoping that we're gonna have drawing classes at college, but we did not have. We actually we had one drawing class, which, which was technical drawing, and and it was like the amount of drawings we did was so little. Um, it was very very sad. Um, so yeah, but um, I was when I realized that we're not gonna do a lot of like 2D stuff. Um, because we also did a lot of 3D stuff, which was also helpful, but it wasn't what I wanted to do, wanted to practice. I was technically drawing six to 10 hours every day. So I was getting up, um, taking all my stuff. I was going almost 50 minutes to college, was completely drawing in the morning, 
going to college, first class, probably also drawing through the class all the time, like another two to three hours, then lunch break, and then next class, again drawing while I had class. So another three hours. And then when everyone left college, I stayed at college because it was very good for focusing. And sometimes I also, um, um, I don't know if you know the foundational group, um, John Park and Jeremy, what's his name? I always forget his name. Um, they made this foundation group on Patreon where they um, re release um, tutorials and stuff. And in the beginning, they also had a group where you can do assignments and they give you feedback on that. Um, so I was also doing this after college. So I stayed at college on a normal day and was doing overwork until, I don't know, until it was dark, 9, 10 o'clock. So I left the house at 7.30 and I came back at 11 or something. And then I went to bed. And I technically drew or painted all day. That's it. Um, and I either drew or painted. And some days it was like, for example, we had live drawing and so the fashion designers had um, the fashion designers had live drawing on Wednesday and I always had class at the time but I always skipped my class and went to live drawing and they had like six hours of live drawing this was really I, I just that was for me the best time in college and I would love to do that because like like you could completely focus on a drawing part and you couldn't you didn't even worry about anything else it was like you I was in my own zone like you stay there, you draw, you look at the model. You, you, we were drawing like three hours. I remember three hours straight. And then we did a break and I was just sitting in front of the easel, like eating my stuff, drinking coffee and just staring at the things I drew. And then we continued and we continued another three and a half hours. And we basically drew like seven hours straight. And I felt like I, I felt like I was high on creativity. That was really the best time for me. Ah, Kim, you're taking it slow, yeah. That's good. Slow is good. Oh yeah, I agree, Hakim. I really miss that, going to a museum and um, just enjoying, enjoying the silence of a museum. Like, it's super quiet, people are not talking much. And you're right in front of an old masterpiece, trying to learn from it. That's also something I really enjoyed about like my mother being an artist. So she has and she always had an atelier where she was drawing or painting, like more painting than everything else. And every time I went there, my mom put up jazz music or something and she has a lot of books and everything. And I just enjoyed 
chilling at her place. So relaxing. Also, this also had a lot of in influence on me, definitely. spend any time on the painting like under the week or on the, on the weekend because I'm just so busy with all the other stuff on, on one side it's cool that we only do like working on that on stream but I feel like we progress very slow <laughs> very very slow also like painting on st on stream like again my laptop is not the fastest so like I'm, I'm doing a stroke and then I have a delay of at least one millisecond. Feels a little bit weird. But yeah, it's okay. I definitely gonna get a new machine. Just not know when. <laughs> Doing a stroke feels like getting a stroke, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's like that that's completely <gasps> right on Murat. Spot on. Like maybe I should do a noise every time. <laughs> oh maybe not. Not a good idea. Murat, do you gonna work tomorrow? Or do you gonna take a proper bank holiday Yeah, it's, it's a dilemma of freelancing, right? Ah, I'm sorry. If it, if it, if it relaxes you, I will also work a little bit tomorrow. But I guess no client work tomorrow. Just for myself.
if we talk, I might relax me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I can call you tomorrow if you want. Uh, we can we can have a chat tomorrow. What is the rest doing? What are the five people on the YouTube stream doing? What are the six people on the Twitch stream doing? Are you chilling, drawing, painting, eating, studying? Any wishes on what you want to see also on future streams? Things I should paint, draw, or we talk about. Or does it really matter? <laughs> more skin? You mean painting skin? Or you want me to show more skin? Trust me, nobody wants to see that. see some prop design there could be maybe a thing I also like I feel like I haven't done proper prop design for quite a while I just yeah Mura do you remember um, like the stuff Marcus has in his portfolio like the the prop design he made that's also still something like for me a benchmark when it comes to prop design what are you working on tomorrow burak hey alexander welcome to the stream <laughs> don't worry about the english man all good Don't don't worry about that. But you can also be silent. I don't want to force you. Uh, thank you, Alexander. I really appreciate the words. You 
work on a dentist clinic project. Is it like a horror setting or um, just like a real dentist clinic? Uh, not real, but in terms of like um, like a concept. <laughs> I knew that this punchline would come, but <laughs> it's so predictable. <laughs> mm. By the way, is the new Mortal Kombat movie out already? Because you, uh, when you said finish him, I was uh, thinking about that. Is it out already? What? Do you know that? Oh, you're so nice. Can you also look where, where I can watch it? 6.2 on I IMDb? Ouch. Okay. I mean, it's not... I mean, 6.2 is actually not that bad, but... Like, the, the trailer looked really nice, but... Can you... Can you... Can you look up where I can watch it? Because if I... If I open my Google Chrome now, um, you know what's gonna happen. It was already released. Oh, I think I work too much. Oh, I miss all the stuff. But it's also like so much stuff is released. You can't follow all that. <laughs> Why not move it? I want I want Alexa with your voice move it. Thank you. So I know what I can watch later on.
Utopia. Is that with the dinosaurs? Oh no, that's Dinotopia, right? I may be mistaken that. What is that about? I'm sorry, come on. That your internet is not working. Maybe you restart the router or something, if you have one. You don't have to spoil it, just tell me what it's about. <laughs> like, you don't have to spoil the story, just can you broadly explain what it is? Otherwise, I just look it up. It's okay. It's creepy, not relaxing. Okay. Okay. Okay, I will check it out. I will check it out. And don't watch the American version. All right, all right.
Oh, sorry, Burak, I haven't read that. Um, my favorite character of Mortal Kombat. Um, good question. So when I played it, I would say probably. Hmm, I don't know. Either Sub Zero or Luke Cage, I would say. Oh, um, what's. Is it, is it Luke Cage? Yeah, I think Luke Cage. What's, y what's yours? Burak. What's your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite uh, Mortal Kombat character? Ghostface, welcome to the stream. Um, if you're late, I don't know. We just two hours into the stream, I think, almost. So not you're not late. How are you doing? How was your week? talking about Mortal Kombat characters if you have a, fav a favorite you can let us know who is it oh you just bought an iMac sweet Easy go. <laughs> Are you happy with your iMac, Crossface? <laughs> oh, Murad. I mean, when that's the reason. Now you're gonna eat air for the next two months. <laughs> I thought you got an iMac. Sub Zero, yeah, Sub Zero is nice. I mean, if you if you if you can compensate compensate it, it's good for you. Also, I gained a couple pounds to COVID, so having nothing to eat wouldn't be that bad for me. 
even though that's maybe not a topic you make fun about. did you get? <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes buying stuff gives you also happiness feelings, right? Depends. I wouldn't call my... I wouldn't consider myself a big consumer. Like, I'm not... In German, you would call me a Sparfuchs. Which is basically the translation of a saving fox. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not the person who buys a lot of stuff. I don't know. I have more problem with books, like books as resources. I have to, I have to be careful with that. Also, I don't have space. Don't have enough space for all the books. I have staples everywhere. What else did you bought, Ghostface? Furniture! Sweet! What type of furniture? Oh man, what? <laughs> That's so flat. I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read that. Murad, what's the question for me? What my favorite color scheme is? Um, mm, that's a good question. I would say probably... Orange and black, I would say. Certain 
I don't know, sudden orange and blue or something? What are you asking? I don't have the I don't have the Stonehouse Anatomy book. What's that about, Hakim? Is it good? You bought an interesting couch, a rocking chair, and an erotic co coffee table? Do I want to know what makes the coffee table erotic? I think you have to be more specific with this term. <laughs> um, why is it erotic? Can two people fit on that or what? black orange and orange so orange yes orange 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 yeah this the the blade runner um like the 70s especially is really slick also it is really big in coming like a lot of people liking and buying that stuff Basically two naked men supporting the four legs. <laughs> okay. Sounds legit. Okay. Um, uh, Hakim, what was the name again of the 
A stone house anatomy? I will look it up. I will probably buy it then. <laughs> if it's good. Yes, uh, sounds sounds very nice, Ghostface. Thanks for joining, Burak. Have an awesome evening, rest day, wherever you are. Take care. Thanks for joining. Was it was it but was it really made in the 80s or was it refurnished? Okay, certified. Okay, cool. What's the time, ghost face, where you at right now? Are you um, in the States, right? So it's probably morning or something? Or lunch or something? Oh nice, okay cool. When you say designed, um you you really mean ground up, you 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 let it build? Like you, des you designed it and then made it build. Lunchtime. Ah, okay. Cool. 12.42. Ah, so you are in New York then? East Coast or what is that? Sorry if you said it once. Um, I don't. Maybe you rem remember it correctly. Where you're from? California. the burning city of Los Angeles. Uh. Let's say from the city who has no weather. Because it's always sunny. I actually burned once the half of my face in when I was in LA sitting in a cafe on the corner in the morning. The sun was so aggressive. 
I also was so pale before. And then I went home and basically the half of my face was was red. That looked kind of stupid. Hey Celine, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. How's everything going for you? Um, what Cintiq version is was? Uh, what Ghostface? Do you mean my Cintiq? I don't use a Cintiq. I use a Wacom Intus 4. I'm basically using a keyboard. I don't like the I don't like the um, body position I'm working on a Cintiq and I'm way faster with the keyboard prefer that was that your question Oh, you got selected for the artist. Congrats, Celine. Okami also got selected, uh, but I don't know if it's for the uh, new edge thing. But uh, she said also she was um, she was also um, selected. So I don't know if it's the same school. But congrats, good luck, fingers crossed. Ah, the new Venom, like. Ghost is the, the like the last the first trailer of Venom also looked freaking promising just because of Tom Hardy and he, He's really the only reason to watch this movie, but the story and the storytelling was so flat also interesting that it seems like they don't make super serious um, superhero movies anymore they prefer now or like the broad audience prefer more this um, Guardians of the Galaxy type of comedy thing which I guess is just more interesting or more entertaining if you think about the first Thor movie oh my god <laughs> if you watch that now the first Thor movie, or actually the first two Thor movies. Pfft. They're not, they're so slow and so not, yeah, I don't know. It's very interesting that Natalie Portman is playing in that. That would be funny if you if you both uh, end up in the same class. That would be nice. I wish you both a lot of luck in getting in. Even though it's funny because it's still you, it's a school you pay for. But I mean, not funny, but it's like I don't know. But it's cool that you 
pass the first round. It's a good sign. Is that so? I'm, I'm not so familiar with the all the Venom uh, comics and stories. But that's cool then. <laughs> Maybe the second one is better than the first one. I mean, it was. I admit, it was pretty funny how they made it when he, how he got up and stuff. Like when he was basically um, taken over by the by by Venom. And Tom Hardy is really well playing that. I don't know, wrecked, wrecked person type type of character. He's playing that really well. You love the new Game of Thrones set photos? What are you talking about? Did I miss something? make a continuation of that like I I wasn't really disappointed because I since they since the production went into the last season you could feel the change like you could feel that they didn't had enough time in terms of production and everything felt a little bit Hollywoodish so I ex my my expectation level just went down right when I realized that when I saw that so yeah um, was I disappointed? Yes and no. So I was actually expecting that it's not gonna be so, so good in terms of ending.
Yeah, I I see that as Ghostface. The the like the first seasons were like great, but um, the, the the end was not. The last season wasn't just good. Yeah, true, Morat. I guess if the expectation level is still up, then you can possibly be disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to all the other people who just joined on Twitch. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the chat. Um, I don't want to disturb uh, Ghostface and Mura's conversation <laughs> in the chat. Also, it's a multi-stream, so um, if I'm answering questions you maybe don't know, um, you can see it on the, on the chat on the left side. Um, but uh, yeah, don't be confused about that. Just draw along, paint along, or just watch. Just do what you want. Yeah, welcome to <laughs> welcome to the chat while I do the background entertainment.
Also, if you want to see how we started this image, just go on my YouTube channel. Um, all the previous st streams um, are up there and you can basically watch the whole process. And we started also with, um, with a photo study where I explained how to study from an image. And then we moved over to um, basically making this image to showcase uh, how you directly learn from a study and then make your own image out of that. So we painted this this one ground up, so to speak. If that interests you, just go on the YouTube channel. Hey Kyle, didn't know you were here. Yeah, it's uh, I I add all the assassins later on, so um, it didn't start it like I wanted to make an Assassin's Creed thing, but um, it just felt it just felt right to add those. It's also very simple, so. Um, just blocking out silhouettes and then I was looking at a lot of uh, screenshots from Assassin's Creed. I don't know, do I, is that, yeah, here, you see the difference here. So that was basically before that. Um, I mean, you can go back and really watch all the, all the steps we took. Um, I deleted also a lot of steps out of this PSD, so it's, um, I have it saved on the other ones just to make the, the, the file smaller. But yeah, we ha we basically um, did a sketch, painted that, um, blocked certain things out, blocked out like the buildings and everything, and then we added photos, painted over that again, and then we just basically added the story um, through adding characters and stuff. What are you up to, Kyle? What are you doing? Uh, my favorite mutant? Are we talking X-Men? Think about that, Ghostface. Uh, it's, it's really hard because I was, to be honest, I was always a Wolverine fan, just because of the pureness of the character. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. We at layer two hundred. I don't know. 
yeah if you go back to the streams um, they're all on the channel you can watch that um, it's it's just a build-up process I would also usually build it in 3d before but it was to to demonstrate the process um, I basically painted ground up and also doing that on stream um, my laptop is not liking that so that's why it's also a very slow in process of making that <laughs> oh, Finding Nemo classic. Yeah, right. I mean, there are things I don't like about the Logan movie, but generally, like, the Wolverine as a character is just like, just this, I don't know, just the pureness of it. What's your favorite one? I know, you said it already, Gambit. Gambit? Uh, which one was Gambit? Gambit, Gambit, Gambit. Gambit. Mutant. Ah, the one with the cards. By the way, Kyle, how are the studies going? Could you could you proceed a bit better after we talked about it? I think so, Ghostface, but um, they messed it up. So. Also, what is was interesting, I saw a video um, where they talked about all the cast of um, the, 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 the actors for Captain America. It was very interesting to see who was also um, um, went to the audition for Captain America. Hey, Kim of Talk, uh, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. Dream. What are you doing, Kim of Talk? How are you doing? The study's going well. That's nice. Yeah, right. This this process of um, finding new new old masses um, is very interesting. Also, if you can read about the background and everything. 
what what I actually really like about those old master studies is when you look um, when you look up certain images um, or certain areas they painted, like Turner, for example, where he went for painting, and then he um, and then you look up how the places look look today, or you actually go to the place. It's also super interesting. I remember there was this one spot um, um, where. Uh, where Turner was painting an image and I went there with my father unconsciously in Wales and we went there and I was like I know this place where do I know this place and when we left the place I was realizing that this was actually the place from the from the image um, how, how do I keep motivated um, I'm not motivated <laughs> I'm, I'm kept here as a hostage I have to paint and draw all day I'm, I'm smiling, but inside of me, I'm crying. Um, no, uh, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I, to be honest, I don't know how I keep motivated. I just, I just love what I do. I enjoy it and I'm thankful for what I'm doing and that I'm able to do it every day. And for me, it, of course it is work at some point, but it's for me more fun than work. So I don't have to push myself to, to motivate myself. Also, what is a big misconception? Um, what I also had a lot of um, times before in the process of growing, I thought I'm not motivated and I had an art block, um, but I was basically just empty, just exhausted, just out of energy to work. So. I wasn't unmotivated or anything. I was just exhausted because every time I rest, my 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 drive of drawing painting came back. But yeah, that's well. And I I would say also I I set myself goals, you know. And I always want to get better. It's just like also the part of like getting better. Is something just like what is very specific to me. Um, so, um, yeah, I just like the progress of growing and getting better on certain things, you know. I have qu I, I quickly have to to uh, go to the toilet. Little pause. Um, choo -choo -choo. Be right back.
What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Oh yeah, Edward Hopper's paintings are um, lovely. I approve that. I got a new haircut? No, it's the same as usual. You think I went to the toilet getting a new haircut? <laughs> just casually just cut my hair. <laughs> Got cut uh, last week, but it's the it's the normal one, the, the 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 thing I get all the time. And you, do you have also a new haircut, or a head a haircut? What is everyone else doing? Chat feels so quiet today. Do you want me to do a little bit of ASMR? is going good so I had a deadline this week um, which is basically which every time when I have a deadline it's just it's getting a little bit stressful to the end but um, yeah I got everything done and now it's just mm, four days off which is which I'm very grateful for and next week it continues <laughs> as always If I consider shaving, uh, shaving you mean uh, hair or beard? If I prefer the scruffy look, do you want to tell me I'm scruffy? <laughs> That's fine, Hannah. Oh, I can see your VIP status now on Twitch. Can you do something with that, Hannah? I see that you have this um, this this little uh, icon before your name, but can you do I don't know certain emojis or something? I just got notified by Twitch that I can give that, but I don't know if that's any special. <laughs> All right. Oh, nice, Bob. Is that Bob, Bob Ross? Cool. You just made an emoji. Why do men when they transform into a baby? I don't know. <laughs> That's definitely the reason why I, I like the, the three days beard. That's, that's cool. Uh, good to hear, Kyle.
I look good now, thank you. Did I look did I look not good before? <laughs> do do I look camera acceptable? I actually I actually did not even shaped here. Was just too busy of a week. I just just forgot to shave. Yes, I, I, it's funny that you asked that because I actually do have a skincare routine. Credit to my girlfriend. She made me do that. In the beginning, now I'm doing it my own. Do you want to know my skincare routine? probably have your own when you ask so specific elaborate sure my friend <laughs> so what I do um, first I of course shower after I come out of the shower I take um, special cleaning water and I put that on uh, a pad and then I clean my face to get all the the dead skin away then I clean it again um, and then I have a very specific um, like my girlfriend has a has a ceramic roller it's called it's in the fridge and it's cool and what you do with that you basically roll over your face which um, as it's really really cold and you roll over over your face and it makes um, blood going th to certain areas so i basically go under my eyes over my over my forehead and everything and it also prevents folds so i do that i roll like a madman and after that i clean again and then i um, use a certain uh, skincare cream which gives a lot of moisture and it's based on um, on cactane um, cactane plant so it's, it's it's very gives a lot of um, moist, moisturizing over a long time <laughs> you want a boyfriend who looks tidy like me <laughs> do 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 other men you see are not looking tidy I mean I'm not that tidy today to be honest but I mean I mean talking about here <laughs> the rest is pretty tidy <laughs> <laughs> what the what the fuck I'm talking about? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean you also don't get younger, right? So to be honest, I, I also, like, when I started doing YouTube, seeing myself in the camera, uh, I'm, I wasn't really, like, someone who's staring at himself in the mirror every day. I mean, obviously you see yourself when you brush your teeth and everything, but not so, like, that you look at your face, like, how it ages and stuff. So, and also, like, my skin technically, or, like, generally, not technically, generally, my skin is very dry, and I never took a lot of care about that. So a couple of years, like, yeah, I, th I think I started with that, I don't know, in my 20s, like when I was, when I became 20 or something, but before I never took care about my skin. Thank you. 
Oh, I, I, I always appreciate compliments. Thank you very much, Kim. Why should I take them badly? No way. You're very kind. That's my compliment to you. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Um, I, I feel like Mur Murat should also elaborate on his routine. I remember he had a very special one. Very complicated. Hey, post stroke artist 67, welcome to the stream and uh, you're welcome. No, Murad, you look perfectly handsome. What are you talking about? Why you think is that so, Kim? That's true. But I think it also has to do with chemistry in general, you know? Like, even if the man maybe not used the right words, but the the two people or the, the, the woman he's talking to feels some sort of chemistry, she would probably also forgive that he just made a weird weird saying, you know? I think it often has to do with a lot of biochemistry. I think it plays really a lot of a lot of um how you say that? It it it, it influences a lot of decision when it comes to choosing partner and everything.
Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I I understand what you mean. Yeah, but I would say like also those type type of things. They are always there, you know. So not to um, like not to say that 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 is totally normal behavior or anything, but um, like uh, yeah, those type of things are always always there. I I I can't remember a time where it wasn't like that. Just now everything is more transparent <laughs> yeah murad you know me right i'm very logical but um i'm also out of the game so Also, turn it the other way around for women, Kim. So women also don't have it easy. Because there are a lot of men who... Like, who gets intimidated by successful, smart women. And beautiful. Like, everything. And men can, like, get... Like, I don't want to quote that, but there are certain studies who show that like men tend to tend to choose partner who female partner if they choose female partner um, who are less. Um, I don't want to say threat, but I think you know what I you know what I mean. So um, I think it is easier to be respectful. And without emasculating myself. Yeah, insecure, for example. Yeah, right. should love someone because of their char char characteristics, right? <laughs> you don't want to delve into deep talks, don't worry. Um, my plan for the summer. Um, 
So I want to go on a vacation, but first um, I will gonna see how everything's gonna be in Europe. Um, I would like to go to the Netherlands for a vacation and maybe somewhere else. Um, but yeah, uh, like safety first. So see how everything is going in terms of COVID. Um, yeah, and then be very spontaneous with that. Do you have any any plans? Save the image and then flip it. You want to go something tropical? Yeah, it, it feels like a lot of people want to do that, but probably people want to have the contrast, uh, like contrast to staying at home, you know. Yeah, I don't know. I the thing is pff, I don't mind going somewhere like more exotic. I think for me it's just nature is important. I'm a I'm a big ocean fan. I like the ocean. But I could also I don't know, maybe go on a hike or something. Or maybe go into the mountains. But also in summer, like doing a hiking in the summer, like midsummer, sometimes it's like very exhausting because of the heat. So let's see. I also probably go on vacation, I would say maybe in August, not before August. Also like first, first of all, getting vac vaccine and everything. You have to find a boyfriend before you go on vacation. Why? <laughs> and so just take a friend. <sighs> Excuse me. I guess yawning on your own live stream is not very sufficient. <laughs> it's just a long day. Just a long day. You do? something you only do efficient at home I don't know learn learn a new skill learn something you always wanted to learn a language an instrument I think it really is also a, a thing of perspective you know like what do you do out of it here are um, basically it's a texture on color dodge that's something I really like to add at the end and what do you do you basically add it everywhere where light is hitting and where you want to have more contrast and it just adds a little bit more believability
and you have to observe that sometimes when you go somewhere or when you maybe in a um, in a library or I don't know somewhere where it's very dusty and light is coming through the window you see those particles in the light area so all you do you just take that and just put it in the light area and it just adds certain certain um, yeah magical feel but it's really something you should do at the end of the image and I, I I didn't thought I would say it but I think I'm not I'm still not done with the image there's just so much stuff to do and we did a lot today but um, there's still more so I feel like this whole area here is still not still not still not done also here this area is for my taste it's just too empty I want to add something to the horse um, but we we went through a lot of foliage today which is really good it's and you can see it's really it's 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 a build-up process it's a Hannah Montana quote <laughs> oh I didn't know that I did not stall it intentionally. Freakishly tall, what is freakishly tall? Like seven foot? What? But again, um, biochemistry. Doesn't matter if he's tall. If the chemistry is there, why not? Just go what your heart is saying. What you feel like, you know? When you have the right feeling, why not? He's seven foot and you five foot three. Pfft, doesn't matter. Have you seen uh, Shaq O'Neal and his girlfriend or his wife? That really doesn't matter. What is what? What scares you so much about it? Maybe it scares you now, but you can. Maybe you fall in love with that even more. Sometimes you don't know it before you have before you try it, you know? Then you try it and then you don't wanna change it. I don't know what you mean. Don't know what you're talking about. Anyways. <laughs> Try it out. Or do what your what your gut feeling is saying. If he's cool and he's a nice guy, 
Why not? Maybe try not to overthink it too much. The the question the question is what you want, you know? If you want someone you can talk to spend your days with I don't know having fun whatever it is he's maybe the right one you don't know and then just to determine that by his by his uh, uh, body size you could miss out of maybe a great personality a great person great experiences whatever Wear high heels. Yeah, that's a good advice. Just wear high heels <laughs> all the time. <laughs> that's how Hannah is doing it. She's wearing high heels all the time. Kim, that was subtle. <laughs> Don't telling me about being subtle here.
crazy when you when you reach a certain level painting so you paint and paint and paint and paint every time i reach like the six hours mark i don't want to stop anymore even if i'm tired or anything i just want to continue it's it's really freakish even if i go like laying in bed and want to sleep i actually want to paint Uh, you two, what? Ranchy, 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 I don't know the word. Let me google it. Schlüpfrig. Ah, okay. You, you, you are too schlüpfrig. In German we say schlüpfrig. <laughs> um... No, you're not. I don't know. I wouldn't say that. Also, if so, what's what's the big deal about it? And what's bad about having a dark sense of humor? It's also not bad about it. I think it's also just where you look you look at it, you know. The girls are seeing that they want to join the conversation. That looks weird. It's not a nice silhouette. Oh, is that not in this layer? What is that? What is that? What is that? Ah, it's on that layer. I don't, I don't, I don't think that this is really has to do with dark humor or ranchiness or something. I think what maybe, and that's just, it doesn't have to be true, but maybe, maybe it just has to do with uh, a woman who, like, if you, maybe you, when you give the impression of, oh, when you, I don't know how to say that. Like if you give the opponent or the, the opposite person the feeling you know what you want, you know, like if you're pretty straightforward, maybe some people just don't like that in terms of a partner. But for example, I like that. I like it when someone is straightforward, I really much appreciate it. So maybe it's like you can generalize that too much, you know. Yeah, I agree with Mira. By the way, I didn't know you're still here, Mira. Are you drawing? Yeah, but I mean, we are living in 221, so that's also, I don't know, what is, what is ladyish acting like, you know? 
that's it's super subjective if you ask me Are you finishing another mermaid? Nice. <laughs> you can't see mermaids anymore. <laughs> yeah, so stop doing them. <laughs> or don't go on Instagram so you don't see any mermaids anymore. Yeah, it's, uh, it sounds very conservative to me, Kim. I think for me it's just important that, like, also like even to think of that someone knows what they want, you know? Like this is already a super big challenge. Who who exactly knows what they want, you know? But um, if you kind of know what you want in life, um, I think then you're already on the right track and that's 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 like that's enough because then if you know what you want you more likely yourself and if you're your best possible version of yourself then you should be together with whoever likes you like you are if that makes sense. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. And they and and they don't have to something which requires a lot of physical strength when I know it's easier for me doing you know same goes for like yeah what you say fixing a lamp or something I mean technically you could do that but I, if I can do that as well I mean I don't know And I, all, I can also cook. Maybe not as good as my girlfriend, but I can cook. So, I don't know. Yeah, this this stuff is also conservatory. Uh, con conservatory. So, you yeah. know. Mira, the, the act is of, you have to fix the lamp while you're cooking. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not funny anymore. Just too just too long of a day. Mira, what are you doing tomorrow on your bank holiday? More mermaids? Uh, 
Um, <laughs> never needs the lab first should fix it. I like that one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> There's IKEA people. <laughs> yeah, also multitasking is not good. You should focus always on one thing you do. Otherwise you try to catch the hot pan while you're at your phone. That doesn't end good. Nice, sounds like a plan. Ah yeah, true, you have your vaccine chart. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be we'll be fine. Let's stay positive about that. Alright everyone. Um what what would I mean, I think ego is already the answer to the question. But also, again, like, I have friends. Also, friends, I have friends who are not like that, you know? So you can't generalize all that. How do I like my coffee? Double shot cappuccino? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I usually uh, drink one mocha per day. So like a like this Italian thing you do on the stove. <clears throat> How do you like yours? Like no sugar. Okay, solid. I also don't like sugar. But a little bit of milk. But if I don't have milk, I drink it black. <laughs> All right, everyone, ladies and gents. Um, I think I will wrap it up. We already hit the three and a half hours mark. And I'm actually happy that my laptop survived that. 
Um, we we progressed actually quite a lot. Add a couple of things, painted over a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, I think it just needs one more take. I'm not sure if I gonna finish it offline and then just do a wrap up episode on the YouTube channel or if I will. Yeah, because I don't want to do like maybe don't do the same thing again on next live stream because I also want to do something else. Um, yeah, um, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the stream today. Um, I hope you had a good time, a good time. And I wish you all a wonderful evening, a wonderful day, wherever you are. And I will upload this on the YouTube channel automatically. So um, it's going to be up if you want to rewatch it or I don't know if you want to see the other ones. Um, yeah. Uh, feel free to join our art community on Discord. There's a Discord button on the on Twitch or on YouTube, wherever you watch this. And um, yeah, feel free to share your artwork there, your um, Instagram. Um, you can also have a conversation there. We are very like-minded people. Um, and otherwise, I wish you all a wonderful day, night, wherever you are. Yeah, me neither. I don't like artificial sugar. The taste of that. Ciao, Hannah. Thanks for joining. And maybe have a good run tomorrow morning. Hey, Giale. And thanks. Have a good have a good day. A good rest day. Thanks for joining. Good night, Murat. We talk tomorrow. Let's let's uh, maybe have a call tomorrow. Ciao Mira, ciao Kim, thanks for joining and um, yeah, have a great day, evening, ciao ciao, take care.